Welcome to Session Health Tutorials. Hello, fellow therapists. I'm Ian, a practicing psychotherapist, and I use Session Health each day in my own private practice. In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at our auto pay settings for doing a lot of billing automation. How you get to the billing automation section is just by clicking on billing settings. And on this main settings tab, you'll scroll down to this panel. It says billing automation. We're going to look at each section individually. I'm going to go into the edit screen so we can take a look at this. But billing automation is around how bills are created when super bills are created, if billing documents are shared with clients, and if auto pay is enabled or not. We'll click edit. And the first thing we're gonna look at, how are bills created? Are they created daily, automatically, automatically monthly, or manually? If they're created daily, Essentially what this means is each night around midnight, any sessions that you've performed that have billable services, a bill is automatically going to get generated. So essentially that means that instead of it showing up as a pending bill, it's going to show up as an open bill. You can have it set to do this daily or monthly. You can also do it manually. Why would you want to do it manually? If you're someone who collects a credit card fee, for example, I have my credit card fees set up as products. And there's another tutorial that's going to show you how to set up products. If you need to add products to your bill, you're going to need to do that manually. There's no way to automatically add products to a bill if you're generating it automatically. Otherwise, you can set either one of these, whichever works better for you. Monthly might work for some people if you want your super bill to show all of the sessions for a month, you would set that to monthly because super bills are tied to a bill. If you set it to daily, it's going to create a bill for every session that day, which means if you see someone four times in a month and you want to generate a super bill from the bill you would have to create four different super bills rather than if you just do it monthly, it'll be one. If you're generating super bills automatically, though, it doesn't really matter how frequent you're generating the bill because the super bill creation is going to happen on a specific day of the month. I recommend setting it on the first day of the month if you want the super bill to be created for all of the previous month's sessions. If you do this, you have to also make sure that it's enabled at the client level. So for each client, you want to make sure that the ones that need super bills to turn this on by going to client and then their billing tab on their details set up. I'll, I'll show you that. Actually, let's just go look at that right now so that you're not confused by it. So you go to clients, you would go to choose a client, go to their billing tab, click settings, and then you want to scroll down here to billing automation and automatically create monthly super bills. You want to make sure that that's checked. You might not want to do it for all clients, so you can just make sure this is turned on for the ones who, who need it. We're going to come back here because there's obviously other billing automation settings at the client level too. So we're going to bounce back and forth. But now let's go back to billing settings. Click on edit. Are billing documents automatically shared with new clients by default? Yes or no. Billing documents mean bills and super bills. Sometimes we get asked if, if we can separate that out right now in the system. Sharing billing documents means all billing documents. So it's going to share in bill, bills themselves. It's also going to share super bills. So if you want to have more control over that, you would turn it off 
and and do that sharing manually. That's your other option. If it's on, once created, how soon should we deliver documents to the, your clients? This is important because of auto pay, which we're going to get to. Auto pay basically means it's going to automatically try to charge the credit card on file for any bills. If you have billing generation turned on, um, it's going to automatically do that each night around 1230. You want to put a buffer, say 90 minutes so that if auto pays on the bill is going to get generated. Auto pay is going to run. It's going to pay that bill with the client's credit card on file. And then it's going to share the invoice with the client. That's going to say, here was the bill. We charge your card. It's paid in full. So you want to make sure that each process in the system has time to run. So if you have auto pay on, just make sure to set this at 60 minutes or, or more. So those are the options that you have for billing automation. And now let's go back to the client because you also want to make sure if something's um, a setting that you don't want to have run for a particular client, you can override everything at the client level. So just like how you probably don't have a one size fits all approach to therapy, you also probably don't want to have that with your billing. So you can also override anything here at the client level. So you can check on and off, automatically create monthly super bills. If you don't want to share billing documents with a particular client, you can turn it off. Same thing with the delivery minutes. You can also turn on and off, automatically submit payments. So you've got it at the account level, and then you also have it at the client level. And so for troubleshooting anything, just make sure to always check both places. This concludes the tutorial for billing automation. If you have any questions for us, you can always reach out to us at support at sessionself.com.